So today's kind of an interesting day. This is a day that I've been anticipating for uh, a while. It's the day that the new light bar that I ordered arrives, and it did a day early. Thank you, UPS. It is the KC light bar. It's a brand new product. They actually call it the Pro 6 light bar, as can be seen here. This is custom made, custom fit for my Jeep. It's a 2010. As you can see already, I've installed the post mounts. The light bar will be mounted here and across to there. So far, I'm fairly impressed. I'm pretty impressed. Having never installed a light bar before, although not necessarily being a big fan of the existing light bars on the market, I've been kind of wanting one that was set a little lower than, say, you know, the. I didn't want it up at the height of the roof. I wanted it to be set down a little bit because I'm already dealing with increased height for you know various reasons but I just like the look of light bars that don't sit up on top of your vehicle like Mickey Mouse ears I just think that's kind of silly even though my girlfriend has a light bar that sits on the roof of her vehicle so anyway this thing uh, is currently in a configuration where it's straight across and it has two other configurations, one that curves it a little bit and one that curves it a maximized amount. Now I've got a lot of forward light already. I've got uh, some rigid industry lights in my bumper. They are right here and right over there. And I have a set of old school, I love them, you know, because they're classic KC lights already. I really like those. They're obviously not very modern. They're, they use a lot of wattage. They use a lot of battery power. But I like them because they look cool and not a lot of people use them anymore. And that's kind of the reason why I got this light bar. Because I don't want to have a light bar that everybody else has. Now if KC is watching this, of course they want everybody to have this light bar. I wanted something that looked like lights. I wanted it to look have kind of an old school feel uh, but still a modern appreciation for the geometry of the design of the vehicle and I feel like this is it so I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna continue installing this I'm gonna actually I'm gonna adjust this so that it's so that it, it does angle quite a bit because um, again I have a lot of light moving forward already and I think that that's kind of the look I'm going for um, this will probably be some trial and error. I can always theoretically just dismount it and adjust it pretty easily if I don't like that. And uh, we'll go from there. So, we're at a point now where the light bar has been adjusted to the angle that I wanted it. As you can see from the side here, it has a significant curve to it. Figuring that out based off of the instructions wasn't initially simple to figure out but then you realize that it's just such a minor adjustment for each light that um, what you expect to be a, a, a noticeable movement is actually a very slight movement but after I figured that out like it was very simple and they all adjusted in sequence so I started at one end and worked my way over I think if I were to suggest how to do it to someone else I would start in the middle because they're on the Jeep anyway there's another little bracket that goes around that is for a foot that is now going to push against the roof or top part of the window so I would adjust the center first and then I'd probably work my way in from the side and do that each way or just work your way across afterwards. 
So, so far, yeah, it's a very complex light bar, I think. Having been my first one, I can't really compare it to anything else, but it's not like a simple little square. So there's a couple other things that are involved with it. And there might be for some other similar products, if there is such a thing. Um, but yeah, I would have to say this is very well designed, uh, very technical uh, from a design standpoint. And so far seeming seeming to be very functional as well. So that's where we're at right now. All right now, yeah, so stage three. This thing looks freaking sick. It is shiny. We always like shiny. It looks great. I haven't 100% decided whether I like to keep the originals at this point because they're not nearly as shiny anymore. I mean, these things are clean. They're sick. Do not have any of the electrical done yet. Once we have that done, we'll have a better sense of where the beams are falling uh, and any adjustments we need to make. That'll probably happen tomorrow because it's getting pretty late. But at this point, right now, I think this looks pretty badass. So, the lights are installed. And it's pretty hard to get a good shot of them just by themselves because they're insanely bright. The wiring was a piece of cake. The harness that, that was provided was clearly optimized for the Wrangler, uh, plenty of extra length on the end going to the switch. Um, it is totally badass. I mean, they're melting snow. And right now they're dirty. They actually have like road grime all over them from driving on salted roads all day. But uh, this is a badass product. It's, uh, it's an impressive product. The install was pretty darn straightforward. The quality of the product, initial quality, is spectacular. The design engineering is spectacular. Um, pretty rugged conditions up here, you know, lots of, lots of crappy roads. Uh, gonna definitely be using it off-road, uh, so um, hoping these things stand up over time. Gonna take care of them. But so far, totally impressed.